What's up guys, this is Dave with another episode of El Jardim Perido. So I realized I've shown you guys my backyard food forest slash urban garden, and I thought I owed it to you to give you a little tour of the front. All right. All right, so we're gonna start with, right up front we have the Orinoco you've probably seen in a few videos right next to the native lilac. Also in the front, we have an elderberry that's been in the ground for not too long, just about, uh, let's say half a year. Have a little arbor here with some trellising grapes. Also, I've got some uh, Malabar spinach that I just established. There's also some roses growing into the trellis. So we have a nice, big, hardy pomegranate. Losing some foliage right now, but uh, we also have some fruit here, and we also have some fruit up top. This whole setup up front is more of an edible landscape. Uh, right here, I'm going to go along and show you guys what I have growing as a living fence. So we're going to check that out. So this is the Pakistan mulberry that turned out to be male. And my grafts were successful. Except the, uh, a few birds snapped them off and when I tried again, it was too late. It was too hot out. So we're going to give that another shot after breaks out of dormancy. This is a lemon that I started from seed probably three years ago. This is a quince. It's more uh, decorative, but you get the idea. Rosemary bush. A pair of moringas here. This is an ornamental Barbados. Uh, well, actually it's dwarf. The fruits aren't as good as my other Barbados, but still pretty good. Another Moringa. Actually just topped it to get a little more bushy. This here is a bush cherry. Some, uh, no fruit on it right now, but really good fruit when it does fruit. Cassava just stuck in there. This is my goji berry. From the bottom, it doesn't look great, but uh, it's doing pretty good. We've had some fruit on it already. This is my cinnamon tree. And this is a hazelnut. It's probably gonna get a lot bigger, but yeah, there it is for now. It's about two years old, started as a tiny little seedling. Behind that, I have a prickly pear cactus, back from the dead. Died back in the frost, now it's back. Next to that, in the corner here, is a sherbet berry. It's got some other names, but uh, it's got some nice fruit on there. Nice fruit set right now. So in the front here, I have mainly a bed themed for uh, fruits and berries. So we're gonna check that out now. I do have a mandarin that was actually, um, actually wasn't doing too well, but uh, I took care of the problem and it's doing pretty well now. I have a bunch of taro coming up there. Tons of raspberries. Then those raspberries. There's a couple of strawberries down there. They're throughout the entire bed here. Some, some milkweed for the butterflies. Hawaiian hibiscus that I got from uh, some seeds from a company. A couple of carrots sprawled around there. some okra. A 
This beauty is a one, two, three, four, five and one stone fruit right now. We have Santa Rosa plum. I forget what the original plum was back here. We have nectarine hanging on right there for dear life. I also stole a cutting from my neighbor's uh, peach that did really well last year and grafted that onto some almond. Lots of blackberry canes. Lots of dead ones too, because we got a lot of fruit last year. I should probably cut those back. A little bit of comfrey. Got some elephant ear right here that I'm not too fond of, but it's providing shade right now. A very large hibiscus. Some beautiful flower sets. Dragon fruit going up the trellis. No fruit yet. Died back in the winter here, so it's doing all right though. I have a squash trellising up here that I uh, just did not too long ago. As well as grapevine trellising the entire carport. All right, so another purpose, well, Another function of what I have up front is my little nursery. I'm starting a lot from seed. Um, I'm nursing plants that I've got at discounts up here and also just some of the more tropical that don't need direct sunlight right now because they're smaller. But uh, I'll go ahead and show you around what I've got. All right, so some of these are um, elderberry cuttings that I propagated. I've got some shallots back here. One of my friends hooked me up with. This is from that mulberry. It's a rubber tree root stock that I can use on something else. Some mint. Some uh, jujube here. I took off some of the shoots from my other jujube. We've actually got some fruit here. We'll see how they taste. Some more jujube. This one I planted from seed. This is a grapefruit that I air layered next to some chaya. This is a kumquat that is flowering immensely. I had it in the shade, it wasn't doing too well. Um, so now it's a little partial shade out here. I have a fig tree out back. This is a cutting from it. It's doing really well right now. This is a lime that I started from seed. It's doing pretty well. About two years old, I think. This is a buttercream mango. I believe they're uh, a little more cold tolerant. It's doing pretty well though in the partial shade. This is another mango that even in my greenhouse Something happened to it, and it was only left at the rootstock. All my other plants survived. This one is coming back from the rootstock. This is the Haas avocado seedling that I started from seed in the back there. This is a coconut palm. I don't know how this will do with our winters, but I'll probably overwinter that. A couple of banana pups back here that I've harvested. Not harvested, but transplanted. This is an ever-bearing mulberry, one of which I tried to graft onto my male mulberry over there, but when the time is right, I will take grafts from this. This was a cutting that I had rooted. It's doing well. These are durian in front here, seedlings. They're about, say, four or five months old. They're doing really well. They're actually really hard to germinate. Uh, lots of little seedlings in here. We have uh, just chaya cuttings. This is uh, another durian. Back here I have some pawpaws, not doing exceptionally well, but they're fine. Still very green. These are some 
apple, Gaia apple seedlings. So they're not true Ga Gaia, but um, once they grow up a little more, I'm gonna graft them onto my multi-graft apple tree. Uh, one that I recognize here is the curry tree. Got some wild honeysuckles that I took cuttings from. Have some different varieties of hibiscus right there. They are being rooted in the water right now. Some aloe. Chipotle cava, not doing so great, but it's hanging on. I think I had it uh, in too much shade. Now it's getting partial shade, uh, a little more sun. I have a uh, passion fruit on passion fruit on the right here. This is a jackfruit seedling. I actually have quite a few of these. Another passion vine here. I believe that's the yellow passion fruit. This is a carambola or star fruit seedling. More passion fruit being propagated. I have lychees right here. They're doing really well from seed. Tamarind. I have another, another Haas avocado seedling here. All my seedlings are Haas because that's what I typically buy at the store. I have a loquat started from seed. This is a lime tree from seed. A couple years old here, it's doing all right. Mango from seed, I just did this past year and it is shooting up. Quite a bit of shade in this area too. I have a pawpaw that I plan on transplanting out once the uh, heat dies down here. As far as this pawpaw, I actually um, grew a bunch of wild mulberry back there next to the, the other pawpaw I already have established. So we're gonna have a few pawpaw back there. I've also put some seedlings in the ground and uh, yeah, should be good. Should have uh, lots of opportunities to cross pollinate and make some fruit. All right, this in the middle here is a soursop. Doing pretty well. This is a strawberry tree or Jamaican cherry. It's had some good fruit set this year. This is a sweet sop. It's doing really well. Behind that we have chocolate pudding fruit, which I topped maybe three months ago. It's got some new growth. It didn't like being topped too much. I probably wouldn't prune these. Also have a kiwi vine starting to trellis up the carport. I had quite a few established here. I know you need males and females. I don't know if they're gonna make it back once uh, the weather cools off, we'll see. Just some pygmy date palms that uh, actually I thought died back. I potted them and they're okay now. All right guys, well that's gonna do it for the front yard garden tour. Uh, post some questions and comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, it's pretty conservative. I'm, you know, the homeowners association isn't that crazy here, but I want to keep the neighbors happy. So it's pretty minimal, more landscaping, edible landscaping. But um, yeah, it's doing pretty well. Probably gonna get a lot of these trees that I'm nursing into the ground at some point. Just uh, waiting as far as timing and trying to get a little more microclimate in the back before I put anything in the ground. Anyway, guys, as always, thanks for tuning in. Until next time.